Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title. I'm going to be speaking about gimmicks in female rap and what I personally feel on the matter. So if you're interested in that, female rap, pop, conspiracy theories, training topics, my popular opinions, whatever I feel like getting into for real, then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay, so I can already hear someone start before I've even started. Somebody's going to say, why are you talking about female rappers? There's gimmicks in all genres of music music in every capacity of course like duh i feel like there's gimmicks in other genres of music i feel like there's gimmicks between influencers and reality tv stars and famous youtube families and famous creators and there's always gimmicks going on in other avenues of entertainment to garner attention and sales like hello that's not even the topic of this video though i'm mainly talking about female rappers because that is what my channel is mostly about pop and female rap Oh my goodness, I cannot stand when people do that. Like, I'll be talking about a specific topic and then somebody will bring up something or someone that's completely unrelated to what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, can we stay on task, people? I think nowadays there's just so much drama and ranting and raving and beefing and just random stuff going on with female rap that, like, it takes away the attention from the music and it just happens so often now and there's so many things that i see that i have like the giant question marks on my face like that one meme of that <laughs> that guy <laughs> he's standing there and all of a sudden like the question marks appear around him and he looks confused as heck like that meme because what is going on here like cardi b for example i love cardi b but for years it's been more about whatever's going on in cardi b's personal life than it has been focused on the music cardi b will release a single or two here and there a remix or two here and there but what's kept her afloat in my opinion and kept her name buzzing and kept her around is yeah her little remixes and her little singles and different things that she's been doing but also whatever drama is affiliated and attached to her name and it feels gimmicky to me and i don't know if it's being done purposely or not but the other day when she was going off you know about offset allegedly and her breaking up and she was on live and she was screaming and hollering into the live to us about whatever drama is going on then she professes that they've broken up and you know they allegedly are not together anymore and blah 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 but then valentine's day comes along and then we see them back together we see them all hugged up and say oh we're working it out da 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 but she went on this whole thing headlines spread it all over the internet saying how you guys were getting a divorce and breaking up which she did that again like years ago um then always 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 is on twitter going off on her fans yelling at them talking crazy to them talking down about them going on spaces talking crazy to her fans saying all types of stuff and it's like what it seems like there's more of this type of stuff happening all the time in regards to drama associated with some of our favorite artists and gimmicks and at this point because it happens so frequently it feels like ways to get attention maybe it's not maybe every single thing that happens to be pushed out onto the media and that we find out about or drama that's going on with that artist is not for any type of purposeful attention grab or money grab type of situation but at this point it's hard to distinguish between what's actually real that's happening that's you know they're being affected by it and blah 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 or what's for attention and what is to kind of garner buzz around our faves names for relevancy purposes and then there's the whole drama with cardi b going on right now in regards to offset allegedly cheating on her which she's not really doing anything in that way but there's just always something going on and then another person that i can think about is lotto like she is not untalented at all but again i feel as though in order to remain relevant this like social media day and age where everything is viral and everything is one post away from going viral and things like that that you have to kind of say and do certain things to keep yourself in the headlines for example like lotto has been teasing slash not teasing this alleged man that she's been dating for the past four years and she'll always tweet something random about him in regards to him and people are going to like pick that up and be like oh 
21 Savage because Lotto knows at this point that people think that she's with him. So anytime she posts about him, she knows that people are going to say something at this point because they know who she's talking about, kind of, without knowing. So some weeks will go by and Lotto will randomly post about him and then she'll get circulating on all the blogs again and then um you know or she'll say or do something shady in regards to i spice i feel like their beef is fake let me just <laughs> i can be wrong somebody's gonna be like what there's rap rap beefs going on all the time like are all those fake no i don't i don't feel like they all are uh but i feel like i spices and lotto's is just not real i feel like that it's constructed for some reason that's just my intuition because their beef is not really about anything and they don't really have a reason not to get along like they're both in the same lane they both do the, make the same kind of music they're both cute girls like there's really no reason for them to fight but yet and still they've had this ongoing beef throwing shots at each other that are weak and not landing and ice spice sending trucks to atlanta with you think you're the issue not even the like i'm like what is going on and then lotto just today <laughs> posted a freaking picture of herself with a cake that is a crap cake okay with flies around it and um i guess it was a congratulatory cake for her but um she captioned it with ice spices versus you think you're the issue not even the and i'm like this isn't real life right i mean is this really real like i feel like this was like you know to get people talking okay so this was the picture of the cake and i'm like what i don't know to me this is just an example of something that i feel feels gimmicky it might not be this could have been a completely genuine thing and you know she got this cake and then also the caption and it just flew you know flowed together for her but for me it felt gimmicky i'm like um was this supposed to be funny was it supposed to be a shot at ice i mean i guess technically it is but it's like this feels gimmicky to me this doesn't feel like i don't know nothing about this feels like it's like okay girl like huh this feels like blog fodder it doesn't feel like a real thing like for example like Nicki Minaj and um Megan Thee Stallion's beef feels real that doesn't feel like a gimmick that doesn't feel like a ploy just to get like one hot here and one hot here that feels like they got a real issue going on and we've seen their issue for years at this point kind of allegedly what's going on between them like to me Megan and Nikki is a good example Kendrick and Drake that doesn't feel gimmicky to me that doesn't feel attention-y um like I said, Megan and Nikki don't feel gimmicky, don't feel attention-y. Lotto and Ice don't feel like that. They feel, it feels, it feels really forced. It feels like they actually want to like each other for real because there really isn't a reason for them not to. You know, also, you know, continuing on with the whole gimmicky thing, Ice Spice and this whole uh, poop and farts and her on the toilet and doing all this gimmicky stuff for shock value and attention and it's not even coming through in a sales capacity like oh let me do this cringy thing for sales it's not necessarily translating into sales it's translating into social media press and people talking about it saying how weird it is like you've gotten like a name now for being associated with these things and it's like are we in the twilight universe like we're not even talking about the music we're talking about all this weird stuff y'all are doing you know what i'm saying whether it's drama whether it's yelling at your fans whether it's being gimmicky and weird and toilet related whether it's this beef that doesn't feel real to me that's kind of lame whether it's you continuing to flap your gums about 21 savage allegedly on the side like it's like girls can we get it together? Can we focus on just throwing the music out there and hoping that that is, you know, good, but without the gimmicks, without the attention seeking kind of behaviors. And that's just my opinion. And there's going to be someone who doesn't necessarily agree with that. And that's OFNK. You heard what I'm saying? But, but again, I feel like it is this day and age. It is a social media age. And that is why different things like this have to be done in a sense to keep people's attention and the names relevant because not always the music is going to keep the relevancy up because the music hasn't been good lotto's music cannot keep her up in relevancy because it hasn't been good lately not to say she's never made a good song i'm saying recently ice spice her name is being kept up more with drama and beefs and Nicki minaj and and lotto and this and that and poop <laughs> than her music cardi b same thing her music is 
very rarely the reason why she's being mentioned. It's some external factor. So it to me, it just feels like, all right, girls, we got to get it together. Because what is female rap at this point? Is it drama and gimmicks and antics and random stuff? Or is it music? Coming from a music lover. All right. But anyway, that's it for this rant and rave style video. As you could tell, that's what I do here. I don't necessarily have all of these like solid, impressive transitions. And No, I just talk. I like to talk. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. Also, if you're new and you didn't know, at 5K, um, I will be doing a Q&A style video. I'll probably have you guys submit questions and I'll answer the ones I want to answer and stuff like that. I'll talk more about my life and stuff people have asked, you know, in regards to what they would like to know about me, things like that. Um, so if you're interested in that by chance, subscribe for that. And that's really it for this one, guys. Give me your thoughts below on what I'm talking about and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.